Stretching. So I'm going to take you through a series of four stretches that are great for undoing basically the patterns of daily living that we all fall into. Um, no matter how much we try, we all generally tend to sit more than we should. Um, so we end up with tight hip flexors. So much of what we do is forward facing, whether we're typing, texting, driving, cooking, doing the dishes, everything is forward, forward, forward. So we tend to be pretty tight in the chest. So we want to work to open that up. Um, I like to stretch at night before bed. I find it to be very relaxing and I also wake up a little bit less stiff in the morning. Um, I'm also a morning exerciser, so that feels really good to, to wake up a little bit less stiff. Um, but you could use it to get up in the middle of your work day and stretch. Uh, you could stretch first thing in the morning. Basically, when you have time to stretch and are actually going to do it is the best time for you to be stretching. So the first one that we're going to do is a doorway stretch. So you're gonna find a doorway, and this is a stretch for your chest. So you're gonna put your arms on either side of the doorway. Um, you're going to uh, take one step forward, and then just walk yourself forward a little bit until you feel that stretch in your chest. You're not gonna lean your neck forward or do anything crazy. You're tucking your chin, um, you're relaxing your shoulders and feeling that stretch in your chest. And you're gonna hold that for about 20 seconds. Okay, the second one is going to be a lat stretch and we're also going to use the doorway for this one. Your lats run down the side of your back and again, tend to be pretty tight and restricting on people. Um, so you're going to grab a hold of the doorway nice and high and then you're going to sit back into your hips. You're going to bend your knees and sit down like you're sitting in a little chair, pulling against that door jam, letting your weight pull against the door jam. So you should feel that stretch all the way down the side of your back. Um, you also can lean a little bit to one side to get a little bit deeper into the stretch. So I'm stretching on my right, so I'm leaning to my left a little bit to get even deeper into the stretch. I'm going to hold this side for 20 seconds. I'll switch to the other side of the door jam and do the other arm for 20 seconds as well. Okay, these next two stretches are going to be down on the floor. The first one that we're going to do is a hip flexor stretch. Um, hip flexors tend to get very tight from sitting for long periods of time, so it feels generally very good to stretch them out. So you're going to get into this half kneeling position, um, and half kneeling means that your other leg is, uh, foot is in front of your hip, not out to the side, so you're nice and narrow. You're going to stand up nice and tall out of that knee. Now I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see me. Um, what I'm going to do is squeeze my glute on the side of the knee that's down, and what that's going to do is put me in a little bit of a pelvic tilt position, and I'm going to push that hip forward. So you should feel that stretch in the front of the hip. If you'd like to make it a little bit deeper, you're going to reach up over your head, and you should feel that stretch even deeper. And you're going to hold each side for about 20 seconds. Okay, then the final one that we're going to do is a hamstring stretch. So I'm going to have you lay on the floor close to a wall with your butt up against the wall, if you can. Legs up the wall, nice and straight. Then you're just going to hang out here. So what this stretch does is, it's a great hamstring stretch as I mentioned. It allows the blood to drain from the legs at the end of the day. It is very relaxing. So I want you to hang out here for, you know, five minutes if you can. Work up to 10 minutes. While you're here, you're breathing nice and deep. So hands on your belly. You're taking big breaths in through your nose. And out through your mouth. You're trying to to breathe through your diaphragm, not just up narrow, shallowly through your chest. So again, in through your nose, trying to raise those hands up. Out through your mouth. 